This was what we were waiting for. Uh, we actually have replays now of the Soyuz spacecraft um, as it was under parachute. These, this view coming from one of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters, which was circling the landing zone, waiting for the Soyuz craft to descend. And here you can see it. This is a replay uh, from just under an hour ago as the Soyuz spacecraft was descending under parachute. You can see the thick cloud cover and the overcast sky, but a beautiful light. Uh, the Soyuz uh, landing just a few hours after sunrise in Kazakhstan. This again a recorded view from one of the Russian search and recovery helicopters. So at this stage, the Soyuz capsule was well under its main parachute, a massive parachute designed to slow the Soyuz down from a descent rate of 80 meters per second to just 7.2. Uh, the parachutes being uh, initially opened at an altitude of about 6.6 .6 miles. You can see the capsule descends upright. Um, occasionally will land and roll over on its side, but in this case, the capsule landed upright. Um, so it made things easy uh, for the search and recovery forces. And again, you can see the thick cloud layer on the uh, lower deck uh, that the Soyuz passed through uh, before its landing. It's actually uh, fairly similar um, to the landing just one year ago in March. Uh, when NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore touched down uh, in Kazakhstan through some fairly thick clouds. Uh, the search and recovery forces finding the Soyuz today much quicker though, uh, getting to uh, Kelly Korninyanko and Volkov in a very expedited fashion. Um, all three crew members uh, out of the Soyuz within 30 minutes. Um, so definitely getting some uh, favorable weather. Uh, March usually one of the most dynamic um, in terms of weather, uh, one of the most difficult um, when it comes to Soyuz landing, so this uh, definitely a very successful landing today. And so we'll hang on the air for just another minute, minute or two um, in the uh, chance that they might have gotten video of touchdown, but uh, for now you can continue to see the search and recovery forces uh, working around the Soyuz craft, some of them, um, as our public affairs officer Rob Navius uh, so eloquently put, um, it's Selfieville out there in Kazakhstan. All of the uh, excited crew members who are a part of uh, this historic return, uh, making sure to document um, and celebrate their time out there in Kazakhstan. There you can see a bag coming off, a lot of, um, uh, again, samples, biological samples, um, returning with the crew members inside of the Soyuz spacecraft. Uh, but a lot of the samples still on board the International Space Station. They'll be coming home in a SpaceX Dragon. And it looks like we are getting uh, another feed um, this again recorded video from those um, Russian Mi-8 helicopters, which you can get a great view of one right there, um, that were uh, circling around the landing zone prior to touchdown. There you can see the detached or the medical tent being set up and there uh, the parachute uh, which slowed uh, the vehicle during its final descent. And there, all of the initial teams already around the capsule. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> 